so here we are at uh, Seagull Bay, it's first light. We've met John and his wife Fran, and I've got my daughter Aubrey and Cade with me today. So we're kind of excited because we have done this a couple times in the past and it's always been a fun trip with a lot of fish on the boat. So, um, you know, as you can see again, it's first light. So we're gonna give this a good half day and uh, fish this beautiful lake. Well, you can see the birds all flying south, but no, not me. Hey, I think I'll stick around where the mountains touch the sky and a beast jumps for a fly where the good Lord did his best. Way out west. Welcome to Jared's Got Outdoors. Once John was ready with the boat and the gear, we slowly headed out of the marina. The sun rising behind us made for a beautiful start to the day and the calm water with fish splashing around us just added to the moment. Once out of the no wake zone, John picked up speed and we headed off to try the first area we'd test our luck with on fishing. Once to the area we'd be fishing, Fran took over the wheel while John got out the planer boards. If you haven't seen how John fishes, you'll see that a huge part of how we'd be fishing is using planer boards to increase how many rods we could have out at once. With a planer board out to the right and another out to the left, it was time to get the lines out. John pulled down a couple poles and started the lines heading out. He went ahead and gave the rods to Aubrey and Cade with instructions to let the line out about 150 feet. Once the line was out, it was time to hook the lines up to the cords holding the planer boards. It's quite the system John has that in all honesty may be tough to understand without seeing it, but I'll try to explain how it works. First, you have a planer board out as far as you need. In this case, each one was probably about 100 feet out. Then with the lure sent out about 100 to 150 feet, you hang a clip on the cord holding the planer board, and then attach the fishing line to that clip, just like you would if you were using a downrigger. Only in this case, once the line's attached to the clip, you go ahead and let more line out, which lets the clip slide down towards the planer board. Once it gets near the planer board, you stop the line and put the pole in a pole holder. Then you let out another line, Attach it to the clip and let it slide down towards the planer board. Only this time you stop it once it's about 20 feet from the first one. This can be repeated with several lines. In our case, we put three on one side and four on the other. With two of us on the boat having two pole permits, we could only have seven lines out at once. If a fish strikes and gets hooked, it'll break the line free from the clip and then will naturally just go straight behind the boat and out of the way of all the other lines. Because it gets clear of the other lines, it makes it where we don't have to worry about tangling in those other lines so we can fight the fish without worrying about reeling in other poles. That's probably about as clear as mud, but if you like to troll, it's worth considering for yourself. You'd have to figure out how to apply it to your own boat, but definitely worth looking into. With all the rods out, the first line was hit, and Aubrey was there to reel it in. Sean! <laughs> as we watched, it just didn't quite look like Aubrey had a fight on her hands. As I looked out in the water, there was a stick that seemed to be following us. We had noticed a lot of debris floating in the water earlier, and sure enough, it looked like a branch had tangled in a line. Never mind, just a stick. <laughs> After getting the branch on board and off the line, it was simple just to get the Rapala back out behind us and then clip it back on the planer line. As we were getting the rod back in the holder, another rod suddenly bent over like it was hit. Oh, something else just released. Oh, One now. of those others. Yeah, it's a different pole. Oh. Yeah, switch poles when you can, Aubrey. Big yeah. Sean. <laughs> Again. Again. It's like a dad. Pretty sure this one has fins though. <laughs> It's one of the last fall planters. Oh, and unfortunately, we're probably going to have to keep that one. Gilding too bad. So this one was probably planted around last October or November. We would have let it go. It's just a little baby for this area. But uh, we caught a little too much in the gill, so we get to keep him. So today, the, the game is who can catch the bigger fish? Is it going to be Aubrey or Cade? We'll find out. There's fish, there's fish. Middle run. If 
Feeling him fighting? Well, Roll him in. Not really. But... Well, Cade wasn't sure if there was anything, but he kept reeling it in. Real, real, real. I don't know if he's still there or not. Meanwhile, another rod went slack, and so I grabbed it thinking Kate had tangled it in the line and knocked it free from its clip on the planer board. I set the camera down so I could tighten the line because it was acting a little fishy. Whether it was hit right then or there was already a fish on the line, I don't know. But there was no doubt now as the pole bent over and the line started screaming out. Whoa! This one, holy oh, stuff. He's a screamer. I'll get this one. <laughs> oh man, you hold on with. Okay, you got that? Uh -huh. I could tell it wasn't just the drag uh, set loose. Oh, oh man. He's still jumping back there. You got the rod good? Oh no. <laughs> He's a good fish. Oh. Just keep it up like this. When he's pulling that hard, you don't have to reel. Just keep, as long as that rod's been it, that's all we need. Okay? So when he pulls hard, you stop rod. reeling. Sure enough, there was a little fish on the first rod Cade was reeling in. John quickly released it while Cade kept trying to gain some ground on the one he was now fighting. So we kind of got a double there. It was actually just one fish. We gave him the pole and another one got knocked loose and I grabbed it just to get it out of the way and suddenly there was a little tap tap and tightened it up and wait hey, real fast when he's coming to the boat real 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 how big is he what do you think big Aubrey I just said it was a competition between who gets the biggest <laughs> and then this guy grabs it I think he's gonna be winning it's okay. When he's coming to the boat, we'll we'll get him. And then when he's pulling line, we'll just let him pull. Pretty good. He's coming this way, just nice and easy. Nice and easy. Great big fish. Come on, Cater! You gonna get this? Yeah. Mine. Pull, 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 pull. Hey, you got him. Ow! 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 <laughs> Cater! Yeah! It's a big fish. Ow. I caught the third fish of the day and I'm in the lead. <laughs> it's huge and it, was a, and it was really hard to reel it. I think it's safe to say that so far Kate had the biggest fish and I'll tell you what, he was sure to let Aubrey know about it. When another pole was hit, Aubrey started to work it. Being 150 feet out, she had a ways to go. As I said, Cade was living up that he had the biggest fish so far. I think this one's a small one. I'm not going to get too excited yet. <laughs> sure enough, it was as small as it felt. Just a little one, so I let him go. You've seen us catch a few fish, but in reality, the fishing wasn't real hot. In fact, after those last couple, we ran into a big lull in the fishing. Of course, we were waiting patiently and keeping a sharp eye out for any pole that got hit, but still, you have to admit, it was some pretty nice conditions to just be enjoying the day on the water. Oh, I saw him jump out there. Is it a big one? It's a fighter. Is it? Uh-huh. It's been about an hour and we finally got one. How big is it? I think big. Both my Aubrey. Aubrey, grab that Both one. Both my fish are bigger than Aubrey's. There you go. What's that, Cade? Both my fish are bigger than Aubrey's. Hopefully yeah. that one's little. Aubrey's got one. one's Is little. it big? Little. I don't know. John said big. Little. What's it feel like, Aubrey? We found some fish here. Uh, it feels a lot bigger than my first one. <laughs> just gotta drive around this tumbleweed while we're getting this fish in. After such a slowdown, getting two fish, one right after another, was a big improvement. Oh no! Oh, it's a big one. You have to measure the one in there. I said smaller than the one in there. Is everything a competition? Yeah. Yes. Well, Tommy's I got a lot bigger than my first one. I got uh, we'll measure it up with Cades and see who's bigger. 
It may have been a nice fish and about the same size as the one Cade just caught, but it still wasn't as big as Cade's first lunker. After another short break in the action, Cade was back to fighting another good feeling trout. <laughs> Slow down. Yeah, they're pretty spry. This Big. <laughs> He's thrilling. There, you got it. Good job, guys. I'm the only one catching the good ones. Now you can I speed up. One. one. This is my third. <laughs> good job. Thanks. For whatever reason, these fish seem to come in pairs. And once again, not long after Kate's catch, Aubrey had another on. And this one took a lot of line right off the bat. Either the drag was set too light, or it was a big trap. Don't. No, you don't. Kate, <laughs> okay. yeah, until I get this. What are we out to, 200 feet? I feel like it's a big one. So we'll see if I'm in the lead or not. <laughs> He's not! <laughs> 20. 20, that's it? It's that deep? This one was staying down deep, which is usually another sign of a big one. Way down there. Oh, it's a big fish. Okay, just go real easy. Let's check. <laughs> oh my goodness. As the apparent big fish got closer and closer, we were all just a little nervous about Aubrey getting this trout all the way to the boat. The trout here at American Falls Reservoir grow so fast that they have softer mouths, which means they can also be a bit easier to lose. Keep coming. There you got it, you got it, come on! No, no, no. Oh! Oh! Good job. That's a nice one. That's a really nice one. That's a football there. Cut little crosses. Well, that was kind of fun to have that fish coming in, knowing it's a big one. You know, these, these because they grow so fast, and kind of have some, some mouths that aren't as thick, and so they can rip out. And you never know if you're gonna get it all the way to the boat. So that was, that was kind of intense, just waiting to see if we could get it in the net. And Aubrey did a good job. We're gonna lift it up here and show it to you. Well, that was probably the hardest fish that I pulled in besides the surgeon, just because I couldn't go too hard or too fast. I had to be careful so I wouldn't rip the hook out of his mouth, but he's heavy, he's a really good one. Aside from the size of these fish, I love how pretty the American Falls rainbow trout are. Does that put you in the lead? I think so, I think uh -uh, I'm in the lead. Is, mine is long. We'll measure and see. We better check. <laughs> we never did weigh Kate's big fish, but putting Aubrey's on the scale showed her to be right near the five pound mark. So we had to get up at 4 a.m to come out to the lake to try to fish for some big fish. And it was definitely worth it, but this is a rainbow cutthroat cross hybrid. And you can tell because under the, under the jaw, you have the orange markings of a cutthroat and the markings of a rainbow. It's real pretty though. We're gonna take my biggest one and Kay's biggest one and put oh, them against got, each other and see who's in the lead pounder. so far. <laughs> Well, just holding them up didn't resolve which one was the longest. We could tell Aubrey's would win by weight, but not who had the longest fish. She's even got your beaten legs. Oh, okay. <laughs> I win. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Hold on. See? No. Uh, like a finger. <laughs> yeah, about a half inch. Half inch. Okay, hold them up. What's the results? The results are that I'm winning. No. <laughs> Mine is longer by half an inch and a lot thicker too. Sorry, Kate, you better catch another one. Wait, let's measure this one. <laughs> no, that's your biggest one. As much as Cade wanted, he was now getting beat. Well, for now, we had a cooler full of some nice fish. Well, we're out of time, so we gotta reel in all of our poles and head on out. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe to the Jared Scott Outdoors YouTube channel.